Breaking news SSA has started issuing the July $1,918 Social Security payments today, including deposits for SSI and SSDI recipients. Stay updated with this essential information directly from the Social Security Administration. This video explains who qualifies for these payments. When you can expect them to appear in your account, how they affect those receiving SSI and SSDI benefits, and practical steps to make sure you receive your payment without any issues. Stay informed about your benefits with us. Press the Social Security Administration has just issued July payments for SSI and SSDI recipients with deposits hitting accounts today. This month's payment of $1,918 marks a significant increase that's capturing attention nationwide. Welcome to our in-depth coverage of this breaking news that affects millions of Americans. And today we're diving deep into this crucial update that's making waves in bank accounts across the country. If you or someone you know relies on Social Security Disability Insurance or Supplemental Security Income, you'll want to pay close attention to this video. We're about to unpack everything you need to know about this substantial payment increase, its implications, and what it means for the future of these vital programs. So, let's jump right in and explore the details behind this $1,918 deposit that's changing lives as we speak. Before we delve into the specifics of this month's payment increase, it's important to understand the basics of SSI and SSDI. While both are administered by the Social Security Administration, they serve different purposes and have distinct eligibility criteria. SSI is a federal program designed to help aged, blind, and disabled individuals who have little or no income. It provides cash assistance to meet basic needs for food, clothing, and shelter. Eligibility is based on financial need, age, or disability, and it's funded by general tax revenues rather than Social Security taxes. Many states supplement the federal SSI payment with additional funds, and recipients typically also qualify for Medicaid in most states. On the other hand, SSDI is an insurance program that provides benefits to workers who have become disabled and can no longer work. Eligibility is based on work history and having paid into the Social Security system. The amount of the benefit is based on the worker's lifetime average earnings. After receiving SSDI for two years, beneficiaries become eligible for Medicare. In some cases, family members of disabled workers can also receive benefits. Both programs play crucial roles in providing financial support to some of the most vulnerable members of our society, and the SSA regularly adjusts payment amounts to keep pace with inflation and changes in the cost of living. Now, let's break down the July payment of $1,918 that's making headlines. This figure represents a significant increase from previous months, primarily due to the Annual Cost of Living Adjustment, or COLA. Each year, the SSA adjusts benefit amounts based on the Consumer Price Index for urban wage earners and clerical workers. This adjustment ensures that the purchasing power of Social Security benefits isn't eroded by inflation. For 2023, the COLA was set at an impressive 8.7%, one of the largest increases in recent history. This substantial boost was largely due to the high inflation rates experienced in 2022, resulting in larger monthly payments throughout 2023. It's important to note that the $1,918 figure isn't a universal payment amount for all recipients. It likely represents a combination of factors, possibly reflecting the maximum SSI payment plus a substantial SSDI benefit or significant state supplement. Your individual benefit may be higher or lower based on your specific circumstances. To put this increase into perspective, it's worth comparing it to previous years. In 2022, the COLA was 5.9%, while in 2021, it was only 1.3%. The 8.7% increase for 2023 is the largest since 1981, reflecting the significant economic challenges and inflationary pressures of the past year. This increased payment amount has significant implications for SSI and SSDI recipients. With inflation affecting the cost of essentials like food, housing, and health care, the boost helps recipients maintain their standard of living and potentially afford necessities that may have been out of reach before. For many struggling with debt, this increase could provide some relief, allowing them to pay down existing debts more quickly or avoid taking on new debt to cover basic expenses. It could also help offset rising healthcare costs not covered by Medicare, such as co-payments or prescription drugs. Beyond covering basic needs, the increased payment might allow some recipients to afford small luxuries or activities that improve their quality of life, 
such as social outings or hobby supplies. For those able to cover their basic needs with their previous payment amount, this increase could provide an opportunity to start or boost their savings, creating a financial cushion for future needs. Importantly, the payment increase may help alleviate some financial stress, potentially leading to improved overall well-being for recipients. However, it's crucial to be aware of some considerations and potential challenges that come with this increase. For SSI recipients, increases in income can sometimes lead to reduced benefits or loss of eligibility for other assistance programs. It's important to understand how this increase might affect your overall financial situation and eligibility for other forms of support. Some Social Security recipients may see an increase in their tax liability due to the higher payments, so consulting with a tax professional might be advisable. SSI recipients, in particular, need to remember their responsibility to report changes in income to the SSA. While this year's COLA is significant, future adjustments may be smaller if inflation rates decrease, so recipients should be prepared for potential fluctuations in benefit amounts from year to year. The substantial increase in benefit payments naturally raises questions about the long-term sustainability of Social Security programs. According to the latest SSA Trustees Report, the Social Security Trust funds are projected to be depleted by 2035. However, this doesn't mean the program will cease to exist. Even after depletion, ongoing payroll taxes would still be able to pay about 80% of scheduled benefits. But the program faces challenges such as an aging population and lower birth rates, meaning there are fewer workers paying into the system for each beneficiary. Various proposals have been put forward to address these long-term funding issues, including raising the retirement age, increasing payroll taxes, adjusting the benefit formula, and lifting or eliminating the cap on taxable earnings. The future of Social Security is often a hot-button political issue, and any significant changes to the program would require legislative action. The overall health of the economy, including factors like wage growth and employment rates, can also impact Social Security's financial outlook. Despite these challenges, it's important to remember that Social Security has been a cornerstone of America's social safety net for over 85 years. There is strong public support for the program, and policymakers across the political spectrum recognize its importance. While changes may be necessary to ensure its long-term sustainability, the complete disappearance of Social Security is unlikely. If you're a current SSI or SSDI recipient, or if you're helping someone who is, there are several important things to keep in mind. Stay informed by keeping up with official communications from the SSA and make sure your contact information is up to date. Take the time to fully understand your benefit amount, payment schedule, and any reporting requirements. The SSA website is a valuable resource for this information. Remember to report any changes in your income, living situation, or marital status to the SSA as soon as possible to avoid potential overpayments. While the increased payment is welcome news, it's important to budget carefully. Consider working with a financial counselor or using budgeting tools to make the most of your benefits. If you're interested in returning to work, look into SSA's work incentive programs, which allow you to test your ability to work while still receiving benefits. Don't forget that other assistance programs may be available to you, such as SNAP, housing assistance, or energy assistance programs. Be aware of social security scams and remember that the SSA will never threaten you or demand immediate payment. If you're having difficulty managing your benefits, consider appointing a representative payee who can help ensure your benefits are used for your needs. As we wrap up this comprehensive look at the July $1,918 social security payment for SSI and SSDI recipients, it's clear that this increase reflects the significant 8.7% COLA for 2023, one of the largest in recent history. While the increase helps recipients keep up with inflation, it's important to budget carefully and be aware of potential impacts on other benefits. The future of Social Security faces challenges, but the program remains a crucial part of America's social safety net. Recipients should stay informed, report changes promptly, and explore all available resources for support. Remember, Social Security is a complex system, and individual situations can vary greatly. If you have specific questions about your benefits, it's always best to contact the Social Security Administration directly or speak with a qualified financial advisor. We hope this video has provided valuable insights into the recent Social Security payment increase and its broader context. As always, we encourage you to stay informed about your benefits and to advocate for the continued strength and sustainability of these crucial programs. 
Thank you for watching and don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay updated on all the latest social security news and updates. If you found this information helpful, please share it with others who might benefit. Until next time, take care and stay informed. The impact of this $1,918 payment extends beyond individual recipients, rippling through communities and the broader economy. When Social Security beneficiaries receive increased payments, local economies often see a boost as this money is spent on goods and services. This can lead to increased demand for local businesses, potentially creating jobs and stimulating economic growth in areas with high concentrations of Social Security recipients. It's also worth considering how this payment increase interacts with other economic factors. While the 8.7% COLA is substantial, it's important to remember that it's designed to keep pace with inflation, not necessarily to increase purchasing power. Recipients may find that while their benefit amount has increased, so too have their expenses, particularly in areas like housing, healthcare, and food costs. This underscores the importance of financial planning and budgeting, even in the face of increased benefits.